Yesterday, we started our series Celebra style of giving daytime viewers the look of a celebrity. We went to Jay Joseph's salon to our man, stylist extraordinaire, Roy Nacor, who gave one of our former interns, Caitlin, the long auburn waves of actress Deborah Messing. Look at this. It's day two of Celebra Style Week. I've been working with Daytime for the past three years. They've had some of the best inters. Caitlin is on the verge of graduating. She wants to have that fierce red color and beautiful locks on Deborah Missing. Let's see if we can achieve that on Caitlin. My daily hair routine is, um, well, I naturally have really curly hair, so sometimes I'll fluff up the front with like a straightener and just kind of curl it a little bit with the straightener. and. Um, that's about all I have time for. My hair has always been a little bit past my shoulders. It's taken a really long time to get this length. Um, I definitely want to shorten it up a little bit, but I'm happy that I finally have pretty long hair. I love Deborah Messing's hair because I love the red. Um, I have dark hair naturally, but a lot of red undertone, and I love to just bring it out, and um, I love that it frames her face a lot. She's got the layers going on. I'm always looking for a hairstyle that's going to you know, make me stand out and also look really professional. Um, definitely when I enter the real world and try and get a big girl job, I want to look professional and look put together. I love working for daytime. It's so much fun. Cindy and Jerry are great and all the whole team there is just a great time. It's actually going to be very easy to transition Caitlin to Deborah Messing's look. Caitlin has used color before and it is already warm, so you already have that red tones in the hair. So all we're going to do is kind of refresh it. So we're going to start by putting a permanent color on the roots and refresh the ends with a semi-permanent color. We're going to end it with a deep conditioning treatment, beautiful haircut, we're good to go. Deborah Messing's look is pretty popular right now, especially it's winter time. Uh, most people want to go with a warmer look. Uh, I like the brightness of it. It's almost high fashion to me. Um, it's a little uh, more work to maintain it because as we know, red usually fades out a lot. So a uh, couple more visits to the salon compared to anything else for sure. We've been busy darkening and making her hair a lot richer. By the time we're done, this intern is gonna get a degree in glamour. Wow, talk about sassy and feisty. It looks so gorgeous on you. Uh, a lot more pop of color, lighter around the face, definitely framed your face a little bit more with the haircut. Your hair before had some kind of warmth in it, but it was looking a little dull, so definitely popping it a little made a huge difference. So, Caitlin, tell me a little bit, what kind of reaction have you been getting and uh, how has it been you doing it? Um, I've been getting a lot of positive reactions, a lot of people saying they like the way it frames my face, brings out my eyes, um, that's definitely the biggest one. Um, and I love it. I love that it's brighter, it's fresher, it's healthy. So we were talking in the back a little bit and you told me definitely framing your face has helped you a lot at home, creating more of a style, right? Right. That's good. Uh, you think this is going to help you out in the work? I do. I think it uh, makes me look a little bit more put together and more professional, a little bit older. So I love it. It's easy to work with. and. Great. It was so awesome working with you. Um, your makeup looks beautiful. Jennifer, tell me a little bit about that. Well, I love, she's so beautiful how she is, but we definitely styled her to look a bit more like the Deborah Messing look that we showed in the photo. And she, this look is so beautiful. It's all about glowing skin, of course, a little bit more of a smoky eye, a beautiful lip. But this really complements you, and it's, it's something that doesn't look just beautiful for a redhead, but that's something that anyone could use. Oh, thank you. How does your skin feel right now? It feels great. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on. We really prepped your skin with a lot of healthy, anti-aging, very smoothing products. You don't need the anti-aging products, right. but things that make your skin really glowing and beautiful. And oh, one more thing, how did you like working with Daytime? Oh, it was so much fun. I learned so much from Cindy and Jerry, and the whole crew and team is great. It's just, it's a great time. Wow, it's amazing how much she looks like Deborah Messing. Way to go, Roy Nacor and Jennifer Bradley. Nice job. Now, we are going to continue with this on Monday. We show you how one of our viewers gets the Jennifer Aniston look, and we're not talking about the Rachel do from the 90s on Friends either. We'll be right back.